Hello there. What is going on, everyone? Today we are looking at some really cool new terrain out of Monster Fight Club from the Monster Scenery line. These are the special edition cargo containers, and these are really cool. Uh, there are a lot more than what you just see on the box. There's a lot you can do with them. We're going to unbox these. We're going to put them together. I'll show you how they go together how they work and what games you can use them. And I'll give you some size comparisons to uh, some popular miniatures. And uh, also maybe we'll uh, showcase kind of how they can help bring a city together with some other really cool packs that Monster Fight Club sent out. Big thanks to Monster Fight Club for sending this out for review. Uh, you, if you can definitely check them out. We're gonna put a link in the description below. Head over to monsterfightclub.com and check out this awesome terrain as well as lots more. You've seen a lot of the trees and a lot of other terrain features in uh, a lot of my battle reports and a lot of my social media and photos. They make for great backdrops. They photograph really, really well. And uh, it's just always a pleasure to really get to take a look at some of this awesome new terrain. So uh, with all that being said, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. All right, so we're gonna open this thing up. Now you are gonna see uh, five different colors. You get your blue, red, gray, green, and black. You're gonna get uh, different cargo containers. Now these containers are also all kind of pre-painted. I mean, they're mostly solid color, but they do have logos from the Cyberpunk Red Miniatures game. Uh, and if you're familiar with Cyberpunk or the Cyberpunk universe, or like me, if you're a really, really big fan of Cyberpunk 2077, you're gonna recognize a lot of these logos, especially like uh, companies like Arasaka and Militech. So you're gonna get five uh, five shipping containers in here, which is really cool. Uh, well, let's show you how they go together. We'll, we'll start with uh, good old Arasaka and uh, show you kind of what comes in each section. So you're gonna get two walls, and this is kind of how they look on the other side. Uh, you're going to get a, a floor and a ceiling, and uh, this is gonna be the floor, and this is gonna be the ceiling. And then you're gonna get a back wall and a front wall. The cool thing about this is you're gonna have these doors and these doors actually open and close, which is really cool. So I'll show you how all of this goes together. All right, so we're gonna start, I like to start with the floor. Now, uh, if you look at the bottom here, you're gonna notice that there's these sort of uh, cornered pieces here. This indicates this is gonna be going downward. This does also allow it to lock onto other pieces like so, so these can interlock. Uh, sort, of, sort of in a Lego fashion, but a way to kind of make the, uh, the pieces a lot more secure. And uh, it's really cool because if you've ever stacked up terrain before, you notice sometimes it can like knock over in the middle of your games and this is a way to really prevent that, which I think is super cool. So we're gonna see we have our little lines right here and our little uh, center piece that's sort of a raised area to line up with the little center divot right there. And we'll just kind of push those in and there it goes. Sometimes you have to push down a little hard to get it to click in, but you don't have to glue these. So that's really cool. Uh, I like that, uh, you know, gluing's optional. Um, but like you might want to take them apart again and they will come apart uh, fairly, um, well, not super easy, but you know, without too much, if you really wanted to take them apart, I guess you could. But I, I, I imagine you probably want to keep them together. Um, all right, and then we're gonna put the tops on. Um, I don't know if you're the type of person that like once you put your terrain together, if you'd ever want to like take it apart or not. I, I imagine there's all camps and all sorts uh, of folks, but I usually like to keep my stuff together unless it's really big or it, like is designed to have a whole lot of like removable floors and stuff like that. Sometimes I'll take that uh, you know, apart. Okay, so we've got our four walls and, uh, or rather our two walls and our ceiling. Uh, now, uh, this is, this is you're gonna love this. All right, here's the back, watch this. See these pieces? You just go in there and pop, it's in. And it, and it clicks in, it's, 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 it's in there, it's, it's, it's secured. These little, these little kind of like sleeves here, uh, they help uh, kind of steady everything. But before we put this one in, we're gonna put our doors in and these pop in right here. Nice and easy, boom, look at that. And what do we have here? We've got doors that are gonna open and close like like so. Boop. And then you're thinking, okay, I'm pushing through with my finger, how about when they're on? Well, you got these little handles right there that you can pull out, right? So let's check this out. All right, boom, goes in. We have our shipping container and then doors open and close. Super easy. This is really, really well designed. I love it. Uh, I want to get some miniatures next to these and uh, set a couple of them up so you guys can see how they're all put together and how, how they size up. All right, so I've got all of them assembled now, and I'll start off with some Star Wars Legion miniatures. These are a little smaller, uh, and uh, you know they definitely, you know, like complete line of sight blockage. Uh, lots of 
lots of coverage here, lots of terrain, works perfectly here. Um, one of the other things that I want to show you guys is uh, like as far as like you know, how much uh, you can fit a base on there, you can fit a whole squad uh, on top of one of these if you're climbing over terrain uh, or however you want to do it. Uh, but I think Shatterpoint is is a good uh, example. Now I've got some uh, Shatterpoint miniatures that I haven't done the basing on because I wanted to get you uh, the option of seeing like the full base, just how much coverage you're going to have here. And uh, and look at this, Shatterpoint bases, they be huge, right? <clears throat> so we've got a ton of, of room here. And I've got Darth Vader here too. Um, not finished yet. He's not done yet. Don't judge me by the paint job on Vader. He's he's still a work in progress. But I wanted to get some because I like to put basing material when I'm all done on mine. So all my finished miniatures they have like grass and stuff, and and it makes it harder to see the edges and the diameter. So I wanted you to be able to see uh, just how much room you've got here uh, for these, which is really cool. And as far as height wise goes, uh, they look perfect. I feel like this is really really good for uh, any game. And these are about the same kind of scale as Marvel Crisis Protocol, uh, about the same scale as like Warhammer, uh, you know, 40K, Age of Sigmar, uh, a lot of stuff like that. So you've got a ton of uh, games that this is gonna work really well with. Uh, so that's super cool. I wanted to also show you how these sort of go together. All right, so uh, talking about how they go together, you see here I've got one solid piece. This is interlocked through these bottom pieces. They come across, they come apart pretty easily, but I can stick them on here and I can do sideways, I can do, um, you know, directly on top of each other I can do side by side um, but but this is all just one piece so it's not going to you know move around in the middle of a battle very e uh, very easily or very difficulty which is super cool and one of the things that is also very cool about it is that I can make like bridges right I can put two of them together and for games like Shatterpoint that are all about bridges paths and walkways uh, now I've got uh, a ton of of really cool and functional terrain that is gonna fit like a loading dock, an inner city, um, you know, a storage yard. Uh, plus you can, of course, easily paint these in different colors. Let's All right, now, so I wanna also take a look at some of the other scenery packs that we can use to, to, work, with it, to work it all together. Uh, this one is the Industrial Cargo. I think this is a really good one to, to combine, especially if you're looking to create like a diorama. Now, these are unpainted. Uh, they're not, like a lot of Monster Fight Club scenery is pre-painted, but this, this set is unpainted. Uh, but they're at least in the right color schemes, so they, you know, it's, it's close enough. But if you want to, uh, sort of make these into like palettes and make them kind of, uh, more wood grained or whatever, you can do that. Um, you've got, uh, these little, uh, what are these, like maybe proton canisters or something like that that you can have loaded on there. Um, you can have some boxes and... Uh, lots of different things to kind of augment your, uh, you, you know, your, your your shipping yard. We've got uh, drum oils, very cool stuff. Uh, drum barrels, rather, oil barrels, oil drums. Gosh, I can get the words right. Uh, so you got a lot of these, too, which is really cool. And uh, th this is, uh, I mean, I, I really think this is groovy stuff, especially if you're playing like Marvel Crisis Protocol as well, because you, you have so much stuff that you can throw in that game. Um, which is also uh, super fun to just be throwing boxes and throwing crates at each other. So you've got a lot of this stuff to just make your your, your inner city sort of come alive. So that much is really cool. All right, I'm going to push this to the side right now, and then we're going to look at this next one. This is the City Streets. Okay, this one I'm, I'm excited about. Look, and this one is in a nice little fancy, um, fancy hard container bit. Oh, we've got this other stuff in here too. Look at all of this stuff. Oh, we got the gas pumps and stuff like that. Oh, love it. Okay, okay. All right, so let's get let's get these pieces together first. This is like a, a bus stop, uh, which is very, very cool. Um, like they have a lot of these in Cyberpunk 2077. You kind of stand at them and they have a little bit like a like a shield above or something like that to keep the rain out. You've got your uh, walk, don't walk, your little uh, road signs there. Very cool. There is a really awesome cyberpunk. If you're interested in cyberpunk and want to get into it on Netflix, if you have Netflix, uh, they have Cyberpunk Edge Runners, which is a really good introduction into the cyberpunk universe, and it's a really cool anime. Uh, it's a really good story as well. So uh, I, I like that stuff a lot. So here's a good look at these. Uh, pretty cool. Right for painting, right? You can put your little red or green in there if you want. Uh, very cool stuff. We've got some some terminals. I think this is meant to be like a gas station kind of terminal. Uh, we've got, uh, oh, public access, a little yes. All right, and these can go anywhere. This is very universal on, on where you can put these. 
Uh, we've got another a little three-way terminal. Uh, and then we've got um, these things, which uh, I'm not exactly sure what these things are. So, uh, but I guess they're like cones, right? So you can line these up kind of wherever you want. And then we got some benches and then a large bench. So these are all gonna be able to go uh, anywhere really and just help make a scene sort of come alive. And this, and this is really good for RPGs as well. So if you're if you're a, you know a GM or a DM or something like that, and you're doing some kind of cyberpunk or Inner City or Shadowrun or Star Wars or anything like that, uh, this make for a great uh, Inner City kind of area. So very cool stuff, very cool stuff. We've got one more, and this one's going to be the Cyber City unpainted tabletop scenery set. Uh, and more stuff to kind of go like on the tops of buildings. Uh, they have a whole city line too, which is really really cool. Okay, so in this cyber city, here, I'm going to move these to the side just a little bit more. And this cyber city set has some really cool stuff for like to go around the sides of buildings, uh, rooftops, and you can use these cargo containers as sort of like makeshift buildings too. Like like people live in cargo containers sometimes. This is a really cool little little antenna here. We've got uh, two of these. Uh, uh, what maybe trash compactors or or just just computer terminals in general um, I'm liking that we've got another one of these and another one of these uh, public access pieces and oh we got a nice uh this is like a rooftop like an antenna this is you know you get your, your cable in this way or maybe your maybe wi-fi of the future right um really cool uh top piece to go on top of stuff so now let's kind of put it all together all right, so here I've got just a little uh, area set up to, uh, that looks kind of like a scene that you know you might have a uh, a little shootout in in Cyberpunk. Uh, also, can work really well with all of, their, of our other games. I've got uh, some Shatterpoint miniatures here, uh, just like they they fit real easily just about anywhere in here. Uh, Legion can go in here the same way. You can even, as a matter of fact, for RPGs and stuff like that too. You can even have characters like hiding out inside the containers. I mean, you could do that for in your in your in your mini games and your skirmish games as well. Um, we can have like they open the door and Asajj Ventress is in there. You know, you don't want to necessarily go in there with her uh but really cool stuff um so again big thanks to the folks over at monster fight club uh this is very cool stuff and if you want to learn more i'm gonna have a link down in the description below you can check out the uh the, the combat zone cargo containers from monster fight club uh this is very cool stuff let me know what you guys think down in the uh, description below. Also, we are doing a uh, Halloween giveaway. I'm giving away a $100 Amazon gift card. If you want to have a chance to enter to win that, you just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. Let me know Let me know what you guys think of this terrain. What kind of terrain do you guys like to use in your games? And uh, also, what other terrain would you really like to see that hasn't been done yet? I think that's always a really great question to ask people. Uh, you can also join our Discord. We've got links in the video description below for social media, uh, Monster Fight Club, all that great stuff. So definitely check them out and uh, you know let them know that uh, you heard about them here. All right, guys, that's going to do it. I'll talk to you guys later. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Big thanks to my patrons. You guys help make this channel possible. So thank you for your continued support. I will talk to you later. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Be excellent to each other and party on, dudes.